Okay, it's Charlie Johnson here with Jeremy, head coach of coaching as well. We're going to talk through uh, how to optimise a squat for your physique. Because everyone is built differently, therefore everyone's technique with a squat will be different and you'll see a lot of variations in terms of how you'll move. So for myself, for example, I have a very long femur, so from my knee to my hip, my bone is very long essentially. I'm also very flat-footed. Uh, and I naturally will stand with my feet pointing slightly outwards. So in terms of me for a squat position, I will naturally stand and squat with my feet slightly wider and pointing out, as that's a natural position of how I feel I, I stand comfortably. Quite an easy way, which is a bit odd, to find out how you probably stand naturally is actually to jump, so literally like jump and you stand. Your, your feet will pretty much fall how you should stand. So you can see there, my feet are pointing out with slightly. So now, like, bear in mind my, I know, say for example, my biomechanics, my femur, so from my knee to my hip, is a long, is a long bone. I, when I squat, would always end up loading my glute hamstring and lower back. I'm a lot of a lower back squatter. So for me, as I'm going to demonstrate now, this isn't a great exercise to build my quads. But I will show you how to afterwards. So watch now and I'll give you a demonstration and Jeremy's going to point out probably where I'm going wrong in terms of a normal squat with my feet flat on the floor. Ready? Yep. So you'll notice as Charlie tries to get extra depth and go as low as he can, if you watch his heels, they lift off slightly because he hasn't quite got the mobility in his ankles to be able to go that far down. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, not everybody needs to go ask the grass to perform a squat correctly or to optimise it for your own body. Okay, so we've now demonstrated how appalling my squat is with my feet flat on the floor. Um, it's not appalling that I can still deadlift, deadlift squat 180, 200 kilos like that, but it's not going to be engaging the muscles I want and I'm trying to train. So what we're going to do now is we are going to use a wedge to effectively raise my heels. And as Jeremy correctly pointed out, I don't have the range of motion in my ankles as well, which prevents me getting the dorsiflexion in my foot so using this will basically mean that when I initiate the movement I won't be initiating the movement from my hips as well the, mo the movement of the squat will initiate from the knee which will engage the, engage the quads first not the hip flexors glutes lower back which for me always dominated the squat so using this wedge here you will see it will literally just engage purely my quads and will help develop massive legs and if you don't have one of these wedges in your gym, you can just use some little two and a half kilo plates or a big 20 plate and whack your heels on there. The important thing is that the heels are elevated. So you'll see now that Charlie can get the same range of movement using the wedge to elevate his heels. It feels heels. so easy. Like, so nice. His body mechanics will like it a lot more. It looks more comfortable for him. His heels are staying flat on the ground because elevating your heels means that your calf muscles aren't under tension as when they are when they're flat. So you release and get extra, extra range out of them. Instantaneously for me, that feels smooth, feels no pressure in my joints, and just feel it all within the muscles. So it's like almost like a completely different movement. So if you find a squat doesn't work well for you, try this, heel raised, I guarantee you it will work phenomenally well. Another good variation is using a Smith machine instead of a barbell squat, in particular if you're training on your own. So give this a go guys, hope it helps with your leg development. Uh, drop us a comment below any questions, and as always, subscribe to the channel.